Today, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the wire mesh in a Gilson screen tray. The Gilson testing screens are rugged, tough machines that will provide years of service for your accurate particle size determinations. Gilson screen trays are fitted with ASTM E11 or ISO 565 and 3310-1 stainless steel screen cloth with mesh openings from 5 inches to number 400. These precision made meshes should be treated with care. Slight variations in mesh openings due to normal use or improper cleaning and handling can cause the wire cloth to be out of specification. It's important to check your screen tray wire cloth. If the mesh is worn, loose, or damaged, discontinue use until the wire cloth can be replaced. To replace the wire cloth in your Gilson screen tray, you first remove the screen tray from the testing screen and place it on a flat surface. Now remove the 10 tray bolts securing the side and end liners holding the wire cloth within the screen tray. Next, remove the liners and the deflector which is on the front end liner. Take the worn wire cloth out of the screen tray and set aside. Now, clean the screen tray frame before installing a new wire cloth. Now carefully place the new wire cloth into the screen tray. Be sure the wire cloth is centered within the screen tray. Next, return the front end liner. Now, place the deflector between the front end liner and the screen tray frame. Next, return the remaining liners and secure them with the tray bolts. Make sure the deflector is aligned to the top of the screen tray frame. Note the unique angle of the tray bolts. Be sure to position the tray bolts angled up so that the washers and nuts are fully flat against the liners once fastened. During this process, double check to ensure the wire cloth is centered within the screen tray. Once the wire cloth is secured, the screen tray is now operational. For replacing fine mesh wire cloth in a screen tray, you first score the silicone sealant running along the top of the side and end liners. Now remove the tray bolts, end liners, and deflector if there is one present, as mentioned earlier. Take the wire cloth, which is attached to the side liners, out of the screen tray and set them aside. Next, set aside the wire cloth supports. Now, remove any silicone sealant from the frame. And clean the screen tray frame before installing a new wire cloth. Position the wire cloth supports within the notches on the screen tray frame base. New fine mesh wire cloth comes with metal side brackets which attach to hooked side liners specifically designed to firmly hold the fine mesh wire cloth. For this demonstration we are not actually replacing the wire cloth and consequently we are not removing the wire cloth from the hooked side liners. To continue carefully place the new fine mesh wire cloth with its metal side brackets attached to the side liners into the screen tray. Be sure the wire cloth is centered within the screen tray. Now return the end liners and the deflector, if there is one, and secure with the 10 tray bolts. Be sure to position the tray bolts angled up so that the washers and nuts are fully flat against the liners once fastened. As you secure the new fine mesh wire cloth to the screen tray, be sure the wire cloth is flat so that there are no dips or waves in the mesh. Also, be sure the wire cloth supports remain in the notches on the screen tray frame base. Now that you have secured the new fine mesh wire cloth to the screen tray, 
Add a small bead of silicone sealant to the top of the end and side liners. Be sure not to get any sealant on the wire cloth. The screen tray is now operational. Once the wire cloth has been fastened to the screen tray and the silicone sealant has fully cured. If you are exchanging wire cloth to a different size mesh opening, be sure to mark the screen tray with the correct size opening. Examine your screen tray mesh frequently and for any questions concerning your Gilson testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.